Hello everyone, I'm back with another model which is Retail Store Excel Financial Model. Currently, we are on the table of contents which includes input chief, revenue analysis, a startup summary, dashboard, monthly PNL, yearly PNL, depreciation table, loan schedule, cash flow statement, balance sheet, projected valuation, break even analysis, and diagnostic tools. Moving forward to the input sheet, what does basically an input sheet include? It include all the basic information which is required for the business. Currently, we have assumptions, investment input. We have a monthly employment payroll. We have uh, product assumptions. We have uh, capital expenditure, marketing expense, operating expenses, and every other little thing which is required for the business. Moving forward to the revenue prices. Revenue analysis basically includes sales projection. In sales projection, we have a uh, number of new visitors per month and the number of visitors who are converted in customers and the repeated customers we have. Uh, you can say loyal customers we have and we have product categories, uh, the kind of products we are offering. Uh, we calculate the average price, uh, revenue, cost of goods sold for every product individually and in total we calculate the total revenue and total cost of goods sold um, fixed asset details includes all the basic uh, calculation which are required for the business moving forward to the startup summary mm -hmm. Startup summary basically uh, includes total funding and total expenses. Moreover, it tells you how much investment your business is going to require. And furthermore, the cost is divided into two parts. One is variable cost and other is fixed cost. Depreciation table basically uh, tells you how much an asset is depreciating over the time. Obviously, if you are using an asset, it will be depreciating over the time. Loan schedule basically tells you how much repayment you need to do every month. Uh, uh, how, uh, it includes the loans we have taken, loan 1, loan 2 and loan 3. Uh, moving forward to the monthly PNL. Monthly PNL basically tells you the revenue, cost of goods sold, total cost of goods sold, gross profit, operating expenses which we have included in the input. Here we have done the calculations and uh, total expenses, net income before taxes, after taxes on the monthly basis. In yearly PNL, we do the calculations for revenue, gross profit, operating expenses, uh, total operating expenses, net income before taxes and after taxes on the yearly basis. Cash flow statement basically includes the net cash flow uh, by operating activities, uh, cash flow from the financing uh, activities and cash flow from investing activities. Moreover, it tells you whether the cash is generated from the uh, uh, operation, the cash flow from operations, cash flow from investing or cash flow from financing. Furthermore, uh, it tells you the outflow and inflow of the cash which is very important for the business. Balance sheet basically uh, includes the total assets and total liability. In total assets, we have current assets and current liability. And in uh, total liability, we have current liability, non-current liability. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, moreover, uh, it tells you uh, uh, how, uh, like, how much uh, stable your business is, current stability of your company. Project evaluation basically tells you the FCF of the company, value of the company, where the company is standing. Break-even analysis basically tells you the uh, like uh, a point at which you have earned enough to cover up all of your costs. Diagnostic tools basically tells you uh, whether your business is doing good or not, whether your business is showing profit or not. Um, dashboard basically is the visual representation of your business which helps a uh, client understand uh, the business in a better way. That's it. Thank you for watching. <clears throat>